Scorpio, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returned, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. I appreciate you all that have returned and are continually supporting the channel. Thank you so very much. And I hope you had a chance to check out the bracelet winner, the giveaways for last month. Okay, those have been posted in the giveaway playlist section. So for those of you that haven't checked, check to see if you're, you've been announced there, okay? Because you may have been one of the lucky winners. For those of you that want to enter, simply check out in the description box. I give away three each month. This is the I Am Enough one. I hand make them six inch all the way to seven and three quarters and it's absolutely free. I give away three each month. It's my way of giving back and saying thank you so much for supporting our channel. All you have to do to get in on the giveaway is like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, which is absolutely free, and hit the notification bell. Leave a comment down below or like the Facebook page or Instagram, whichever you prefer. Again, all the information's down below. You get to choose your charm and your size, and I ship it to you anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are located, unless there's a restriction on shipping to your country, okay? Right now, because of what's going on in the world, I'm not shipping, but as soon as we're able to, we feel like we can, then we definitely will start shipping them out, okay? All right, let's get started. Scorpio and cross watchers, welcome. We couldn't do it without, look at flying out. I have to tell you, the last three days now, the cards have been flying out like crazy on the floor in front of me. It's like Spirit is saying, take these cards. And so definitely that's what we are doing, okay? So let's get started. Just one minute. You know what? I actually have to grab my glasses because I want to read these to you. They are absolutely amazing cards. I've used them in the last couple of readings because I simply love them. If you are interested, I always continue your reading for those of you that are brand new over on Vimeo. And I always say plus or minus 15 minutes, but Scorpio has so much to say that I end up going way over. Um, it's not intentional. It just happens. It's just there's so much going on for us Scorpios. I'm a Scorpio for those of you that are underwear. I'm a Scorpio sun, Cancer moon, and Libra rising. I'm going to pull the 1970s cards in the extended as well as the Cyril Marchetti. Uh, and I'm going to definitely pull some of the angel answer cards. So we're going to do pick a card with the angel answers. You'll get to answer the, ask the universe a question and I'll pull three cards and you're going to pick one. Okay. I'm definitely going to be pulling some universe guidance messages here from the goddess guidance cards. We're going to see if the universe has any advice for you as well. I'm going to pull some fortune cards as well. So we're going to dig a lot deeper. I'm going to concentrate on May sneak peek. We're going to sneak into May in the extended so if this resonates for you definitely may want to take advantage of that okay let's get started so your first two cards out are guardian of emotion and the ten of emotion wow that's incredible so this is this is your card scorpio right out the bat king of emotion king of cups the situation requires emotional maturity and total trust you're surrounded by those who have only the best intentions so you can rely on the advice you're given challenges will be resolved this card also indicates a generous humanitarian and refined person whom you can completely depend on this could be a reference to those characteristics within yourself but well, we already know it is or else you're dealing with another scorpio Okay, you're very loving, you're very strong, you're very nurturing, you're also very focused, very driven, very passionate, okay, but us Scorpios as well are very balanced between our head and our heart when we're making decisions. Uh, Scorpios make fantastic parents because they are well balanced normally. Now there are evolved Scorpios and there's unevolved Scorpios and this happens with every sun sign. So there's those that have matured and those have, who have not. This king is somebody who's mature. Okay, somebody who's strong, somebody who has gone through the different lessons and learned the different ropes. So this definitely could be you. And if it's not you, it could definitely be your person. Okay, if you're dealing with another water sign or somebody that fits that description, 10 of cups, this is about having it all. I call this my whole enchilada card. For those of you that know me, know that. This is the whole enchilada card. This is having it all. This is the family. This is like having a ranch or a farm or a home, the white picket fence, the dog, the cat. This is, this is prosperity, happiness, warmth, love. This is having it all. This is what we all strive for. This is what we all really want. We want to have it all, okay? Life is a blessing. Life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family. Great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon. Harmony with those love is assured. By offering forgiveness, understanding, and kindness to others, you're rewarded with unconditional love. This could be 
the Ten of Cups coming in towards you, possibly a commitment. But we're going to have to keep going in order to find out. And I'm going to light us another candle, Scorpio, because this one burnt out and we just, well, we can't have that. Mm, I wish you could smell this. This is uh, um, ginger peach. Ginger peach. Yeah, we've got to light that up. Absolutely. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, let's get one out. King of Cups, please clarify the King of Cups. This could mean that your person is thinking about you and wants commitment with you. They think of you as their everything, their be all end all. They want family with you. They want commitment. They can see having everything with you, but we've got to check further. Temperance. Wow. This is about having patience. There's a win-win solution coming. There's strength and diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise now and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. approach. So this is about everything being balanced. Okay, This is about having the patience to balance out the scales between you, perhaps family life, um, your emotions, everything. This is like, this is also the card of Sagittarius, okay? We have fire energy here. So one of you may have Sagittarius in your chart, or this could all be about you. But I feel you could be focusing on your family right now, okay? And you might be trying to have a lot of patience right now. You're trying to regain your balance, you know? This can be you about uh, controlling yourself. This is also about having self-control, trying to stay at a certain level and stay balanced. You may be trying to balance everything in your life right now. Or this could mean that somebody feels that you are their everything and they want balance with you. They're trying to have patience, okay? That they feel like you are their everything here. That's what I'm seeing. This can also be about compromising within a family situation. We need to have compromise here. Maybe your person feels like you and they need to compromise and come to some kind of emotional balance between the two of you. Yeah, look at that. Three of abundance, three of pentacles, working together, collaboration. Okay, your passions will lead you to divine life purpose. Do what you love and have confidence in your talent. Learn everything there is to know about your interests by taking classes, getting a mentor, or teaming up with like-minded people. Allow your creativity to soar. This can simply be you, you know, trying to balance life, trying to balance family, trying to balance uh, business. Maybe you run your own business or this is about work, working with others on a project on... Um, you know, it's teamwork, it's collaboration. You could be trying to put together a group of people and trying to have kind of like a compromise between you all and you're just trying to balance your family life and your business life. Maybe you're an entrepreneur, a business owner, or this could be somebody that's close to you that feels like they can have everything with you and they wanna have growth with you. They wanna build a foundation with you. They're trying to have patience. They're trying to balance everything, but they think of you, you as their be all end all. We're going to have to keep going further on. This is awesome. This is either way. This is beautiful. This is the 10 of cups. This is what we all want. This can be spirit telling you, you know, to, to have the patience that this 10 of cups that you've always wanted is coming. That somebody wants a foundation with you. They want to work on this with you, that there is hope here for, um, having uh, an equal give and take or having a balance between the two of you. They want to work on having a balance with you, okay? They think of you, you know, maybe you um, come together and you have children together or maybe uh, you have a blended family or this is you again on your own and you have, but you know, 10 of emotion, that's, that's usually like teamwork. This is not just being single, this is being in a family. Okay, but it could, it could be your family and you're working together within your family already, for sure. And you're trying to have patience and, and deal with your own business right now. But I feel like it's more about you're moving towards having everything with someone wants to work with you on having it all. I feel like patience is required and you will get to your 10 of cups, but let's keep going. I could go on forever, Scorpio. You know how that goes. Hello, three of abundance for Scorpio. Yeah, hello. There's things you don't know right now. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Okay, I have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and Sagittarius. And now we have Pisces here. Intuition and insight. Your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now. 
so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction. Follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way. It must, it may be best to keep your secrets to yourself right now. So, you know, somebody could be keeping this to themselves. There may be things that you don't know right now. Maybe they want to work together with you in a relationship. They're trying to hold back right now. Maybe they're just trying to keep things under the down low right now. Um, this may be a secret relationship, doesn't have to be. This can also just be simply things that you don't know right now. Maybe somebody feels like you are their end all be all. They wanna work with you, um, but they're trying to control their thoughts right now. Somebody is definitely worrying a lot and um, you know, stop being so hard on yourself and turn to your thoughts towards a positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution. If you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life, release the problem to your angel. So spirit saying, you know, trust your intuition here. Trust your gut. What is it telling you? You know, um, this could be you thinking about somebody else this way. You feel that they are your everything and you're trying to have the patience. You're trying to have the patience. You want to work with this person. Maybe you want to wait for this person. And maybe you kind of intuitively know that you don't know everything, but it's keeping you up at night because you're so worried. You're stressed. You're kind of like, well, what if this doesn't work? What if I'm wrong? What if they don't want to work with me in a relationship? What if they don't feel the same way or vice versa? You know, you both could be having these fears. How about we go ahead and check the mutual energies? I hope you're all doing well. Wow, look at that. First card out, support. The universe is saying you both need to support one another. Okay, this is if you have a significant person in your life. If you're single, then this means you need to seek out support for yourself. Maybe you're in a family situation right now currently and you're trying to have patience right now. Maybe there's a lot going on. Maybe you're trying to do everything and you know, you're just finding it overwhelming. It's keeping you up at night because you have so many responsibilities, okay? For those of you that are not thinking about anybody, but hello. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is about somebody. Hello, reunion, reconciliation. You may be thinking about somebody else. It's not going to be for everybody. Okay, remember it's a general read. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you want a personal reading, by the way, you can go to shacy.com. I have a lot of repeat clients that come every 30 to 60 days. That's up to you if you want to check that out. Okay, but this is about reunion, reconciliation. I feel you both want to see each other. You both want to reunite. You want to see each other. That's what I'm seeing here. I feel like somebody, you and your person want to have it all with one another you want to work on this relationship and I feel like maybe you're both trying to trust your intuition right now but you both have a lot of fears and anxiety right now you both may be staying awake at night thinking thinking and rethinking okay what if this doesn't work what if they don't feel the same way well ask for support find some kind of balance here I feel you both want to work on this. You both want reconciliation. You both want to see each other again. This could be somebody from your past. You, you know, maybe you haven't been in a relationship with them before. Or maybe you have. You know, you're all going to be different. Wow. See, jumping out. Look at this. What was I saying? Okay. There's hidden circumstances. The moon card again. That there's things that maybe you don't know that are happening right now. Okay. This is why the temperance card is here. This is your angels asking you to be patient. Trust your intuition. You are so highly intuitive. It's not even funny, Scorpio. Okay, we are a very highly intuitive sign. There could be addictions that have been affecting you or your person's life that maybe those are the unknown circumstances. Maybe they have an addiction you don't know. That can be to alcohol, to drugs, God forbid, sex, hopefully not. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I mean, okay, let's not go there. Anyway, Scorpio, let's not go there. This could be that they're addicted to you and you them. This is mutual. So maybe you're both, you know, really really obsessing over one another because you know there's unknown circumstances and that can play on our minds a lot you know maybe that's playing on your mind it's playing on their mind or again you know there's two cards definitely saying there's things that you don't know maybe maybe there's circumstances that they can't tell you about if this is about your person or you them again you know it's um it's all about supporting one another one more please spirits you could be dealing with a capricorn a pisces um, you know, this is about an awakening with the reunion reconciliation here. This is like somebody, you're both making a decision here. 
and it's um, it's about someone returning from your past okay someone returning from your past that's what I'm feeling but there's certain circumstances that are affecting this that you need to be patient for and they that's what I'm seeing Wow, because truth message, some clarity is coming soon. So you're going to go from the dark into the light. This has been coming out in our readings for quite some time here. But we are moving forward here. We are because there, somebody definitely feels like you are their be-all, end-all, and so do you. Okay, this is reconciliation with someone from your past or sometimes it can mean a new phase in a relationship. It definitely can be. But there is, this is either about speaking your truth, both of you to each other. Again, mutual energies. You both want to speak your truth to one another about how you feel. You feel like, you know, you can have your all with this person and them you. Or this is everything coming to light. Maybe they had an addiction they didn't want to talk to you about. Or maybe there was some kind of a, a codependency somehow in a previous relationship or some hurt they were going through um, or you again this can go vice versa right you're all going to be different all right let's I want to pull a couple of more cards let's check it out why is this nine of thought here nine of swords that is also the energy of Aquarius Gemini or Libra nine of thought why is it here please for Scorpio Sun Moon rising and Venus so again in the extended I'm going to do May sneak peek and we're also going to look at the energy of just your person as well as an overall general and do some clarification yeah look at that wow okay look at that so two cards have come out to clarify the nine of swords here ten of swords so somebody was awake all night every night probably for months trying to figure out what they wanted to do and they're ending a situation it's a long-term situation so your person may have been in a commitment and uh, it may have been a codependent relationship here or it could have been with a Capricorn could have been with a Pisces again Libra Aquarius Gemini I have Sagittarius here Scorpio Pisces cancer either way this is about somebody was all in their head laying awake at night wondering what to do whether or not to end a situation this is very painful ending here this is ten of thought is the end of a difficult cycle though this is the good news this cycle is ending okay and this is to um, I feel it's angelically guided again somebody's having an awakening here Okay, because the ten, the nine of swords to the ten of swords goes to the ace of swords. That's that's the truth and clarity we've got right here. So this is progress here. This means that somebody is finally realizing that they need to move on. They're gaining clarity. They're going from the dark into the light. I wouldn't be surprised if the sun card comes out in your reading, Scorpio, at all. This is things that are probably not even known to you. I generally pick up our person's energy. I feel this is them because I don't see your energy here at all. I don't. I mean, not not overly. And then there's the seven emotions, okay? So your angels are asking you to make an important decision. There you go. That you've been putting off. It's unlikely that you, it's likely you know which choice you should make. But you're procrastinating so you don't upset anyone else. Ask heaven for guidance. See, look at that. Ask heaven for guidance ask your angels for guidance okay I feel there's things that you don't know somebody doesn't want to upset anybody else perhaps in a family situation and so they're procrastinating on making any decision they know what they want but they're scared to go after it they're scared to to make those uh, to take those steps but they definitely know what they want this is about you know an awakening this is like gaining that clarity this is what I want but you know I'm scared to do anything and so they're staying awake at night but I'm telling you the ten of swords is here that isn't it is an ending to a long-term situation I can see that now to a long-term family situation here okay and the first card out is you so the first thing in their thoughts I feel is you they're thinking about you and they know what they want but they're they're so scared about they're laying awake at night and, and this could definitely be you too you both could be staying awake at night knowing what each other wants wanting to to see each other but someone's scared to follow through on a choice or a decision and that's why the ten of swords is here and that's why the ace of swords is here because somebody is going through an awakening right now and uh, I definitely feel like it's them because I feel Scorpio we have already gone through our awakening and we deal with it much better than some do 
Um, not all of us. It depends. Again, if I feel that you have because we've got the King of Cups here. But this definitely could be you. It could be you if, you've, if you're ending a situation. You know, maybe you had an addiction to this person that you're thinking about. It could have been another Scorpio and you're thinking about, you know, um, ending it. Uh, you could be in a long-term situation, but if you're not, this is your person ending a long-term situation. It's a, it's a very painful cycle ending, okay? And it says, ask heaven for guidance and make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. Spirit is saying, become your authentic self. You are your person cross-watcher, okay? Become your authentic self here. You have you have this new epiphany here and you know um don't don't be afraid to go for it there's things that you don't know right now and um i you know if you're waiting for clarity from somebody it's coming it is we've got it right here it's coming okay there could have been some kind of an unhealthy situation that a person was already in that they're severing ties with they're ending here Okay, and if it's not them, it's you ending a long-term situation. This is what I have here. Obviously, it's not going to resonate for everybody, but I can't pick the cards. They come out as they may. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to do the pick a card with the Moonology. So I'm going to pick three cards. You're going to pick your one card. Your first card that you pick is your strongest message you're meant to hear. Your second, your second, and your third, your third. And then you can follow me over to Vimeo for the sneak, sneak peek at May. And uh, we're going to concentrate a lot on your person's energy. I'm going to use the Cyril Marchetti for your person's energy. And to see if we get double or triple clarification of any of the cards that have come out today for May 2020 sneak peek, I'm going to use the 1970s deck and the tr traditional tarot as well. All right, let's go ahead and pull our three cards for Scorpio. Wow, that was fast. Like I said, they're coming out really quick today. They're flying out for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What are the messages that Scorpio needs to hear for their highest good, please, spirits? April 2020. What's going on for Scorpio? What do they need to know? And leave me messages down below. I want to hear from you. These are so slippery, these cards. I just love them, though. They're awesome. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take these cards. We're meant to come out for you, and I'm going to take the others out in the extended when we get over there, okay? Because obviously they, they were meant for you. Okay, Scorpio, one, two, or three, or cross watchers, of course. Are you ready? Okay, number one. You are very close to achieving your goal. Look at that. You are very close to achieving your goal. You or your cross watcher or again, both of you, okay? You're very close to achieving your goal. And this makes complete sense. Do you know why? The temperance card is here. Have patience, you're almost there. Spirit is saying, have patience, you're almost there. Truth, clarity is coming, okay? The sun is gonna shine. Again, this is all, you know, somebody's making a choice or decision here. And um, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy. It's definitely kept you and your person up at night. That's what I'm seeing here very strongly. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get this to sit right there. Look at that moon. You know, I just realized there's a moon there too. So there's been a lot that you've been in the dark about. Or your person's been in the dark about. This is all coming to light. Somebody is gaining the clarity that they've needed. That's what I'm seeing. And I really wish this would stay. Let's go ahead and move that. I'm going to try not to burn my arm off, Scorpio. All right. Are we ready? Number two. That is beautiful. <gasps> Hold your vision. Hold your vision. Look at half a moon. Okay. So half the moon is gone. This is what I'm seeing here. This is what I'm feeling. Not Spirit is totally saying here, have the patience. Don't give up. Don't give up because you're very close. Hold on to your vision. Okay. And number three, meditate and contemplate meditate and contemplate again trust your intuition okay ask for support if you don't ask you don't receive okay your angels your guides cannot help you if you don't ask they're not allowed to interfere in your life this is definitely somebody's making a decision to move forward they've been tapped on the shoulder there's things i feel scorpio that we don't know yet you don't know yet again vice versa but guess what it's coming it's coming and you're going to find out what has been occurring here. If this is you waiting for your person. I feel they had a lot of confusion. They didn't want to hurt others. So they had trouble making a choice. But 
this is saying that it's time to put those challenging times behind and move on. This person went from the nine to the 10 to the ace of swords. They've, they're making progress here. It's been difficult, but they want reunion, I feel, with you and you with them. This is the mutual energy between the two of you. You feel connected to one another here. This is being divinely connected to one another here with the reunion reconciliation card. That's judgment. And this is, you know, the devil card. This is, you know, feeling that connection with somebody. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. Either that or you're in an unhealthy situation that you are ending and you're moving on. You're becoming clear that you need to move on. Okay, it could go either way. That's what I'm seeing here. All right, we're going to dig a lot deeper in the extended. I'm going to pull the other moonologies in there as well. We're going to check and get the mutual energies a little bit more as well. Again, May 2020. I cannot believe we're in May 2020 almost soon. I thank you so much for being here. Don't forget about the bracelet giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe. It's free. Hit that thumbs up notification bell. And I'm also going to pull some of the um, heart oracles as well. Let's see if there's any love messages for us over there. Thank you, Scorpio. I thank you all so much for being here. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to bring these complimentary readings to you. So by, you know, sub your subscriptions and the donations you've given, well, they've been amazing. And I love talking to you on a one-to-one -one basis on those personal readings have been just as rewarding for me as it is for you. So thank you so much for being here. I wish you nothing but happiness peace, success, and all your dreams come true. This looks very positive so far. Let's see where we're going from here. Thank you, Scorpio. If this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. And for those of you meeting me on Vimeo for the continuation, which will probably end up being at least another 25, 30 minutes, I will see you right there. Namaste.